Hello ladies and gentlemen, and um, once again welcome to Peace of Bad Victory. So, the year is 1924 now, as you can see up here, December 21st, 1924. Almost 25. Now, I did get somewhat frustrated with the Second World War, mostly due to the fact that it started without any um, intervention by me, which is rather annoying. I did try my best, but we did not have enough troops, so you know what? Instead of packing the series in, I thought I would give it another shot. And as a lot of people have commented that, that they would have liked to have seen a different Germany, we shall, well, we shall instead not go for the uh, National Socialist Party. We shall instead choose against it and see where we end up. I'm not entirely sure what will happen. It will be rather strange. I'm not exactly sure what my choices are, but we shall take um, we shall take the ones that lead us away. Right. So I'm also going to need to build a lot more infantry. Now the thing is, with peace without victory, everything seems to take a hell of a lot longer to build. Infantry, 391 days. Garrison, 252. Hmm. Now I don't have a garrison unit to check the upgrade cost, which is a shame. But, um, we're going to produce infantry. So we'll go for the light, well, we'll go for the artillery. Let's see. That cost is 4.7 IC, without the artillery, 3.3 uh, actually. So we're going to have about uh, as many runs as we can. Hmm, actually that would be kind of ridiculous. Five runs of five each. It uses quite a bit of that manpower. Actually, we should be able to go for more. I mean, I do want to have a fleet as well. We need the carriers more than anything. So where am I on the naval? Right, okay. This is far too early for us to design any carriers. But I think at 1930, maybe 34 we'll go for those carriers. I think 34 will probably be about it. We'll build three or so carriers, and then we'll leave that as it is. We won't be able to invest much in the navy. The rest will basically be what we have now, which is absolutely jack shit. Um, so, I think we'll probably put some destroyers on the go. The issue is we don't have much IC, but honestly, I'm going to spend what IC I have. This descent will come down in time, but I need to be able to produce some actual units. It's a must, it's an absolute must, we can't do without it. Right, destroyers. So we have a level 5 at the moment. Naval. Okay, so we're actually really good on destroyers. The next level is 1933, so that's fine. The next level is quite a way away for quite a lot of things here. So we'll go for some destroyers. Okay. Hmm. I do need the anti-submarine warfare equipment. Air attack, um, sea attack, sub attack actually. Hmm. I guess I could give them torpedoes, but how much would that increase? Right, it doesn't seem to decrease or change that at all actually. Hmm. Right. We'll go for 30 destroyer flotillas. Um, I guess I'll give them the... No, I won't give them torpedo. I'll have anti-submarine warfare equipment made in the future. Destroyers really won't be used for any combat anyway. So get some destroyers on the go. I will have some light cruisers built as well, the Emdens. Float planes. Then again, we do need the AA. Right, so we'll leave it as it is now, then. Okay. So we have 14 divisions. I need more. I don't think I'll be happy unless I have 200. So, we know we'll gain about 20 or so divisions from the Antelouche of Austria. I think... Well, actually, that's if we go the Nationalist Socialist way. So, honestly, I've no idea what could change. Right, anti-submarine warfare. Adolf Hitler. Okay. Right, we got that. That's good to see. 
Um, AA needs to be increased. Nineteen twenty-four AA. There we go. I've also started to research the doctrine right away. We need spearhead. If we can get spearhead, then we can get armor division. Which is incredibly important. I really wish it was a lot easier for Germany to get that. You would think it makes sense, but no. So we absolutely need that. There is no other way we need it. Hmm. I'd like to take... I suppose I'm going to have to take mobility. It's so good just being able to move. But, I mean, uh, concentrated firepower. Well, superior firepower would be absolutely amazing. It's, it's a hard choice. It's a hard choice. Hmm. I mean, this basically concentrates on the mobility, so basically armoured forces. Well, this is more of our infantry. But no, we will go for this. Okay. Right, taxes will be minimum. Then again, I'm going to go with the... Game standard. I need to make cash. And honestly, I'm going to go for the indus uh, industrial sector. We'll get this, so we'll be in the green. Surprisingly, we are in the green. How are we actually making cash? What the hell? Right. Yeah, it was too good to be true. Okay. So at least we have 7.8... I see into production. So that means we can have two um, divisions at full speed, which is very, very important. We need no, we need more men. Absolutely need more men. It's just <laughs> without a question. These ships will be worked on in time as well. Uh, frankly, I do have the anti-submarine warfare, so I could cancel these and redo them in the future, which I will do. But the rest must be done. He will be missed, okay. There we go. Can have three divisions on the go now. Goddamn French. Hmm. Ah, we have another tech slot. Industrial. 1925 production would be very nice. Okay. Uh, so this post uh, war tank will be done soon. There we go. Let's get the artillery. So I'm going to have to upgrade my armed forces, which is going to be difficult due to the fact I'm building a hell of a lot of them. And we don't have much I see. Right, the 1925 presidential elections. Paul von Hindenburg. Wilhelm Marx or Ernst Fallmann. What direction do we go? <sighs> hmm. This increases our relations with the USSR. I'm really not sure who I want to choose here. I've got a Communist Germany series on going, so... We're going to go for the center. Who knows what might happen. Right, then we'll just finish that. Okay, we need to have this upgraded. I'll have a production run of these guys finish. And then we are going to change it out. I need to have my infantry upgraded. Okay. Maniac uh, cannibal has been executed. Lovely. 
Now the issue is the fact that it's going to try and make us make cash. So we need to tell it to stop. Okay. Can I have this changed to something else? Oops. Hmm, no. It's a shame. We'll have to make do. Right, the sentence is coming down nicely. There we go. Right, we're looking fine here. 32, 28, 28. Right, here we go. Was that... Oh, god damn it! are you kidding me? I believe that was being worked on, but it seems to have been cancelled. Right, Max Hoffman. Okay. That's a bloody shame. We need cash. Absolutely need cash. If I have to stay ahead of... Uh, well, above the water like this, then I will have to do it. I need these researches to complete. Yeah, I mean, if they don't have that cash, they don't research faster. Well, they research slow, I should say. Which is probably why I ended up so far behind in getting armor. Which is a shame, I mean, I don't make much cash in Germany. Hmm, it's going to hurt our industrial efficiency, but it's going to suck anyway. So we'll have to just bite the bullet. A rat's conversion. How loud is this music? Huh. Pretty quiet. Okay. We need the rest of this IC. I really wish we had it. Right, invest in public security. Oh, thank you. That extra cash will be great. Right, so that increases the amount of um, off-map money we make. Um, yeah, I need it. Hmm. Honestly, I can do without those two. Treaty of Infamy. Right. We've cancelled some of those, so we've gained a little bit more cash per day. Eh, that's worthwhile. Right, 55, 43, 30, and 30. Into more field artillery to be finished soon. See how much faster they're researching. Credit is flowing. Lovely. Okay, we're good over here. Doesn't seem to be anything that we can research. I could get the troop ship, which I think I will do. I could definitely do with having troop ships. We actually gained a little bit of ice either. Okay. So. Zentralrat. Zentralrat. I think that's how it's pronounced. Spain has finally re annexed the Rift Republic. Okie dokie. So I don't know, maybe we go the path of a democratic Germany. And perhaps we align ourselves with the Allies. And, um... Who knows? Perhaps we will be in the fight against the Soviet Union. That would be interesting. I don't think the Soviet Union could stand up to the German-French-British alliance. I think that would be insane. Italians too. Now the Italian. Oh, I didn't get to actually see that one. Right, the Lushane uh, conference has happened to us. Right, so basically we're protesting against the reformations. Uh, sorry, the reparations. Okay. Need this to finish. Get these. Okay, we're going to need more currency. It really hurts. It really hurts. <sighs> okay. 
Okay, we need to stop investing in the intelligence. Weimar's golden years. In 1925, the Weimar Republic joined the League of Nations. The country was reorganized by French, England, Soviets. The police were reformed, the army, social order. God, this is so hard to read. Right, at least we get that, so that's going to increase our IC as we gain back these little nations. Well, these little provinces over here. It's not huge, but it's enough. It makes a difference. Okay. I think my mistake was trying to focus on the descent too much. It's just too hard to keep it down as Weimar. It's practically impossible due to the fact you're always fighting against it. Okay. Issue currency again. Does not keep our heads above the water for very long. Which is a shame. Right, if I take this from supplies, we might be able to produce some cash here. Right, let's see. We need to go towards a open, well, a free market. I need that so very much. Okay, there we go. Um, do I keep researching? I must. I can't let myself fall behind. It must continue. 1924, seaplane. Okay. Right, stop the auto spying. We need to save cash. Okay, there we go. Naval. Hmm. 25. Review the index. Okay. <laughs> uh, these sorts of things would be rather nice. Especially the trickle back modifier and the attrition modifier. Ah, fuck. Right. So we have the reforms. There we go. Invest in. Well, actually. Hmm. The current system is fine. We don't lose any more cash. So I'm going to have to go for that. Taxes are going to be the game standard. We need to make money. Right, there we go. We can actually deploy some divisions now. There we go. Okay. Getting bonus is good and all, but I need them to be updated. Well, let's take a look here. Infantry. We don't have any more upgrades until 1931. So if we start producing the 1926 infantry, we're going to be good. Right, we'll get rid of these. There we go, 1926 infantry. There we go. So we'll let these guys finish off and then we'll cancel those runs. Master strike against the Republic. So these new divisions will be here to hold the ports. Which is something I really, really need. Right, 1921 mountain division. Bum 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know how things will go. I don't know how us choosing a different path will affect the history. Well, the future, I suppose, I should say. Bam, bam, bam. We're in no danger of being invaded by the Allies. We should actually be guaranteed, um, I think. Actually, I believe we're guaranteed. Who are we guaranteed by? Yes, uh, we're guaranteed by the UK and France, actually. 
so we have absolutely nothing to fear. Naval bomber, something I do need. There we go. Okay, at least we're making more cash than we would have been at this point, so that's not too bad at all. These guys are almost done, that's good to see. We might be able to put more IC into this, we'll see. See, these divisions are more expensive due to the fact I'm producing them with artillery. Um, so should I be doing them with artillery? Mm. I suppose I'll leave it for now. We'll get that gearing bonus. It's cost me a little bit more. But at least we're getting them together. Right, there we go. New Chancellor. Okay, we must protect our ports. Rostock. That's a large port as well, the Hamburg. So we need to protect Hamburg. Right, I think that's all the major ports on this side of the coast. <laughs> Base at hospital, yep. There we go. These men can go over here to Berlin. Nineteen twenty two Naval Division. See, we're actually making cash right now, which is interesting. I do want naval. For the off chance that we do have to take on the British. Okay. It's good to see that we're actually making cash, though. That really changes everything. In fact, we should have enough to go for the uh, industrial reform. If I had any. Second NSDAP rally. Ah dear. We must make do. We must come out on top. Okay. We can start to export cash now. So we should be able to secure more trade deals. So our resources will go up. Right, we've gone to the free market. And we can't move any further. Um. Hmm. Hawk Lobby. That increases, actually. Ah! So if we go to the Hawk Lobby, we decrease the amount of consumer goods demand at home. That's really important, actually. So that means we'll have to put less IC into consumer goods. Right, fantastic. Okay. There we go. No. Hmm. It would make our tanks really effective. I do like the idea of firepower. I mean, we gain a lot of soft attack there. Hmm. Grand battle plan. We must go mobility. If we don't, who will? I think the other nations already have their doctrine decided. The French will be defensive. The British probably superior firepower. Okay. The Soviet Union, most definitely manpower. Hmm. 
Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Into Warfighter Doctrine. We don't really have any fighters, but still, the fort that counts. Is there anything else that we can get? Um, not really. Armor and artillery. Yeah, we're good here. Right, we'll go for this then. Actually, then again, uh, yeah, we'll go for that. There we go. Naval bomber will be done soon. Naval bomber. Get some of these upgrades done. Uh, they'll not take that very long to do. At least I hope so. Commerce Raiders. Commerce Defense would be quite nice. Mm -hmm. Bank bankruptcy. Okay. Upgrade these units. Thirty-two. Thirty-six. There's nothing else really here I can do. <clears throat> uh, we'll go for carrier tactics. There we go. Is it still going down? It's still going down, which is good to see. At least we're upgrading some of our forces, so I can't um, decline that. Yeah, sure, the other nations are stealing everything from us. But honestly, I need this. I can't afford to not make cash. We're not making any now, but at least we're not losing that much. Fuck. So I do wonder if we'll still have an Antelouse with Austria. Would be quite interesting. I have some new books as well, actually, that I've been meaning to read. Um, I bought Stalin, uh, Paradoxes of Power, 1878-1928. Basically a, uh, well, biography of Stalin, which will be really interesting. Taxes, right, we'll do that in a moment. And then I bought a truly huge bloody book, A People's Tragedy, The Russian Revolution, 1891 to 1924. Absolutely bloody huge. It's, um, probably a book you could kill somebody with. Not lying about that one. Right, we'll do these yearly reforms. Game standard. Current system is fine. We need cash. Right, minus 330. Not too bad. <laughs> ah, good. At least if we join with the Allies, if that's even a possibility, at least we'll be able to have good trade in partners. Which is really important. Bam, 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 bam. Do I have any units to deploy? I don't. Ah, here we go. Right, we got these. Rostock has already been uh, guarded. There we go. But alas, we are coming towards the end of the episode, guys, so thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this, as I have. And uh, do let me know down in the comments, and until next time, goodbye, and do remember to subscribe. Goodbye for now.